Hey everyone, today we're doing a real world head to head comparison between two 400 watt portable solar panels, the Renogy 400 watt portable solar suitcase, and the Zoop W400 N type 16 BB portable solar panel. I've been testing both of these panels around my backyard, on camping trips, and even during a power outage. So this isn't just numbers on paper, it's about how they actually perform in real life. Starting with the Renogy 400 watt suitcase, it feels very solid, right out of the bag. Strong hinges, fiberglass backing, aluminum frame, and it folds neatly into a suitcase with a carrying handle. Definitely built for people who want reliability outdoors. Now, the Zoop W400 N-Type, this one immediately feels lighter when you pick it up. Still sturdy though, but more portable. It has a sleek ETFE surface that looks modern and folds up just as easily. If portability matters to you, that lighter weight makes a big difference. Let's compare the specs side by side now. So, Renergy weighs about 30 pounds. Um, the panel folds down to 34 by 28 inches. This panel uses A plus monocrystalline cells at about 23% efficiency. It has IP67 waterproof protection. It has an ETFE coating. And last but not least, fixed aluminum kickstands. So for the Zoop W, um, it's around 20% lighter, so 24 pounds. It's about the same size folded as the Renogy. It uses N-type monocrystalline cells with 16 bus bars, and it's reaching about 25% efficiency. And it has IP68 waterproofing. It has ETFE coating as well, and the big standout adjustable kickstands. This is where the Zoop W really sets itself apart. Renegy's suitcase has fixed kickstands. They hold the panel steady, but you're locked into one angle. That works fine at noon, but once the sun moves, your panels are not as effective anymore. The Zoop W's adjustable kickstands, though, let you tilt the panel however you want. I tested this on a camping trip recently, and I angled it steep in the morning, adjusted at midday, and tilted again in the evening. And that flexibility gave me noticeably more power over the course of the day. It's a small detail, but it adds up to a big performance difference when you are off grid. Both of these are super quick to set up. You can go from folded to charging in under two minutes. Just unfold, pop the legs, plug it into your power station or charge controller, and you're good to go. The Zerenergy feels a little heavier to move um, around, so if you plan to set it once and leave it, it's fine. The Zoop W, on the other hand, is lighter and it is easier to reposition as the sun shifts which makes chasing that sunlight throughout the day a lot less effort. I tested both panels under the same conditions with my solar meter and the Renogy 400 watt suitcase peaked at about 415 watts solid and close to the rated output. The Zoop W 400 watt N type suitcase hits hit 528 watts, which was way over its rated wattage. A big surprise. I even double checked during some cloud coverage and my other solar meter still read 473 watts, proving the Zoop W really pushes beyond expectations. Those N-type cells and adjustable kickstands really make a difference. Both panels feel built to last. Their energy has that dependable, proven construction you'd expect from a brand with a long track record. It just feels trustworthy. The Zip W, while lighter, still feels solid. Once it's set up, I used it on grass and then also gravel and even leaned it against a picnic table. It handled all of it just fine. You can tell it was designed to balance portability with strength. After spending time with both panels, um, here's what stood out to me. So with the Renogy 400 watt suitcase panel, it felt dependable and well put together. Um, it's backed by a brand with a long track record. Um, it's super quick to set up 
and start charging your devices. And that's a bit on the heavier side though. The fixed kickstands mean you're, you're stuck at one angle. The Zoop W400 watt N-Type uses more efficient N-Type cell, solar cells, noticeably lighter and easier to move around. Adjustable kickstands make it easy to chase the sun. It doesn't feel quite as heavy built as the Renogy. Since it's a newer brand, there's less history behind it. Both definitely have their strengths, though. It really comes down to what matters most to you. So which one should you choose? If you want a panel with a long history of reliability and a solid construction, the Renogy 400 watt portable solar suitcase is a great choice. But if you're looking for something lighter with higher efficiency, and especially those adjustable kickstands that help maximize power throughout the day, then the Zoop W 400 watt N-Type definitely has the edge. And here's the kicker. This panel didn't just meet its rated output. It went way over. I clocked the Zoop W at 528 watts in full sun. And even under cloud coverage, my backup meter was still showing 473 watts. That's insane. It's literally punching above its class, which is something you almost never see in solar panels. And here's the bigger picture. Though this isn't just about camping or road trips, in today's world, having a portable solar panel is about being prepared. When the grid goes down during a storm or you're hit with an unexpected power outage, you don't want to be the one sitting in the dark with a dead phone and no way to keep your food cold. With a solar panel, you can stay connected, power medical devices, keep lights on, and make sure your family is safe and comfortable. It's quiet, it doesn't rely on gas, and the sun isn't going anywhere. That peace of mind, knowing you can create your own power anytime, anywhere, is priceless. And after seeing one panel actually blow past its own rating, it's hard not to get excited. That's why I honestly believe everyone should own at least one solar panel, whether it's for adventures, emergencies, or just day-to-day -day backup. It's one of the smartest investments you can make. If you want to check either of these panels out, I'll drop a link down below with all the details. Don't forget to subscribe to my husband's channel, which is where you're watching this video right now. And if you want to check out my channel, I'll have it linked down below. Also, if you want to see a full comparison video between the Renogy 400 watt panel and the Zoop W 450 watt panel, my husband did an in-depth video. Click right here to watch it. You won't want to miss it. And that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.